What we did is we approached people who were here in Kobe during that time, uh, like uh, Fukuoka Sensei and uh, in my mat, Mosquero and Marella. So now that I had the opportunity. So I will tell you why, because that is where the problem of my research lies. So here you have a bonding This is the state promoter. This is the state promoter. You take, you take, you take share for all of us. So anyway, congratulations on your great achievement. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm, my name is Omya Wind. I'm a student of uh, KNC, Kobe Institute of Computing, and uh, I'm studying Master of Science Information System. Uh, my research is AI power mobile application to support the sale of Japanese time good by providing cultural information for foreign customers. For the research, I collaborated with Japanese SME company, Corazon Corporation. So this is the agenda for today's presentation, and I'm going to explain about how to understand the problem and ambition, prototyping, and verification, and conclusion of my research. First of all, this is the understanding. Uh, this is the brief introduction of collaborative company. They are selling traditional good and casual product. Their main customer are foreign visitors. And we can see in the chat, sixteen percent of their customer are foreign buyer. And the key message of this company is discover one talent Japan. As the ability to identify the problem, I have a meeting with company supervisor, and to understand their overall business model and their challenges. Then, I visited to the retail store and directly interviewed to the sales clerk to define their concrete problem. So what problem are happening? When the foreign customer visit to the store, they ask product detail, design, and cultural information, especially in English. So in this case, the sales class, they can explain some information of the product, but they are difficult to explain cultural product information in English. Why this problem is happening? Because of the sales class, they don't have in-depth cultural background knowledge, and they cannot explain cultural product information in English. Ambition. Ambition is uh, finding the suitable solution to solve the problem. There has uh, some constraint we need to consider to create a solution for their problem, because they have narrow space for the product, and some products are placed in height, and also employees are frequently sharing the place of the product within one day. And this is the existing solution for providing information. We can use the paper, we can develop the catalog, but it has limitation. It cannot cover all feature or product information. So another is the barcode and QR code. This is available for some product, but the product placed in height are difficult to identify their barcode ID and QR code ID. Those are the challenges of using the existing solution. As the proposed solution, I decided to use image classification for providing cultural information in English using image classification mobile app. So how to perform image classification? We will set the mobile phone camera and scan or photograph the product and identify the product name, then provide the cultural information in English. So for the thank you shot, the issue is sales class, they unable to explain cultural product information in English to foreign customer. Possible solution is providing cultural information on those Japanese time product in English using image classification mobile app. How to enable that solution? For the technology, I use machine learning model and Keras Python, and also I will develop iOS application because of the user request. For the business model, Corazon, they support and they will use my application. And for the human resources, include company supervisor and sales clerk are my target user. I need customer to make verification for my prototype. So for the prototyping, before developing the real prototype, 
and use that storyboard at the virtual prototyping tool. And also I use that storyboard to introduce my proposed solution to the company. So this storyboard explain the situation of the problem, so what problem they are happening. And the action is uh, we will develop the solution and this solution provides related information to their sales cloud. The outcome, the outcome is the benefit of using my application. So the sales cloud can see the information and they can explain to the customer. Finally, the company agree on that proposed solution. Then I start design my system architecture and my application will run on iPad and it will identify the product, then provide the related information of that product and I need Wi-Fi connection because the, we can see more information on YouTube and their company website. This is the system development process. First, I develop the machine learning model and develop the iOS application. Then I collect customer product information and product testing, and finally try and use at their retail store. So at the first of machine learning, we have to create the image data set. So firstly, I confirm the product link with the company to include in my prototype application, and then I visited to the retail store uh, to collect those product images and some image are downloaded from their company webpage and internet. Then recite my images. Finally, my dataset includes over 30,000 images for 10 products. For the training environment, first I use my computer with the CPU uh, and run on the spider environment. Training time took five hours. It time consuming. I want to boost my training speed, so I need GPU. So Google Lab is support free GPU and after the training it took one hour. So training on the Google Lab with the GPU faster than the training on the CPU computer. That's why I choose the Google Lab as the training environment. After the training I visualized my model accuracy and this graph we call learning cut in machine learning and we can see in the graph the blue line show my model learn 100% on the trained dataset and the orange line show my model understand over 90% on the test dataset. Then I made the testing my model accuracy on the mobile application. The classification on that product, uh, its classification accuracy is over 90% uh, correctly classified. And also many researchers, many research papers described if we achieve my, our accuracy around 90%, it is acceptable. That's why I satisfy on the accuracy and I start develop iOS application using the ACE code. I use the ACE code because of those features. It is fast execution, easy to create interface, and also swift language, a map-based iOS simulator. We can use the simulator uh, iOS or iPad uh, device uh, without using our physic, physic uh, mobile phone. And the next step is collecting cash rate information. First, I interview to the sales cloud to understand, to know what kind of information they really need. And I interview to the foreign customer to understand their requirement when they see uh, the cash rate product. And then I make the list those challenge questions. Then, uh, and collect those information from the internet and their company website. Then this information was approved by the company supervisor. And finally, I install that information in a JSON file to integrate with the mobile application. So the next step is the verification. So for the verification, include three parts. One is the functional testing, performer testing, and user verification. The functional testing I did at the retail store, all of the function of identifying, providing information, and integration to YouTube and their company webpage uh, successfully work. And performance testing also done at the retail store. Uh, this is the uh, classification accuracy result. Uh, the X axis is the cash flow product name, and Y axis is the classification accuracy on that product. So, how to calculate the accuracy? 
So number of correct classification by total number of classific classification. So during the performance testing, I found some incorrect classification result because of differences in product design and differences in background images. But I improved my model accuracy by collecting new product images with different design and different background, then retrain my model. And then again, I visit to the retail store and make the performance, uh, final performance testing. So this graph is show the comparison of classification accuracy. The orange line is performance, final performance testing and its accuracy is higher than the initial performance testing. And the next step is user verification. To make the user verification, I invite the international student of our KIC and Kobe University student. And then we visited to the retail store and the sales clerk used my application and explained the cultural product information to foreign students. And also the sales clerk, they used my application one week at the retail store and they give that kind of feedback to me. So they like that application and also provided information also met and YouTube video are also useful. And when they explain to the customer, it is easy to understand. And also they want to add more products to my application. And then I make some survey question to the foreign customer. So 100% of customer reply yes for getting answer from the sales cloud and 100% of customer satisfied with the sales cloud explanation using the application. And 83% of customer, they like the explanation about the product using the video and 70% of customer reply may be because although they like showing the YouTube video, they want to get explanation by the sales cloud. So this is the customer rating and comment. 83% of foreign customer very satisfying on the application and 70% of customer satisfying. And also they give some comments. The, some customer, they want to get an explanation by the sales cloud instead of showing thoroughly information on the iPad. And some customer, they like seeing the video than reading test on the iPad. Okay, this is the limitation and future what of my results. For the limitation, current my application cannot easily update product information and the application cannot identify group of products. For the future what, so we can develop the cloud platform to store customer product information because current my application is information is stored in the JSON file and in the creator. So if we develop the cloud platform, it is easy to replace with the new information file. And also we can develop the hybrid classification system application using the image classification and also barcode identification. So this is the prototype demonstration. Okay, so, uh, I would like to show the demonstration of my prototype application and I will open the application. Uh, this is the home page of my application and I integrate uh, to the company website and the company they can use their website from my application and for the demonstration of application I would like to invite my friend Sosome from Botswana as the foreign customer so thank you for inviting me yeah thank you for participating yes. so okay let's start okay thank you I see some products here on the display uh, mm -hmm. there is one cat raising its left hand and the other raising its right hand. Is there any meaning behind the raising of hands by the kids? Uh, yes, yes, there has a meaning uh, behind that product. So we have an application to provide that cultural information for the customer. So let me use. Uh, yes, uh, the name of that product is Maneki Neko. And uh, this is a lucky door to get many and good things into our home. And uh, the question of you, uh, why the cat is raising right hand is the male cat. 
and we use that make it for our economy for Qing and success of running business. Yeah, why the, uh, the cat is raising left hand? It is a female cat and we use that female cat for inviting many good customers to our business. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, thank you. Now I understand. Okay. In that case, I would like to buy the female cat so that I invite more customers to my newly opened business. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So for the demonstration, I would like to show my product application. So, uh, so we will t uh, use open the application, and this is the home page of my application. And we will use the device camera and recognize that product. Uh, this is the product of my collaborator company. And here we can see the cancer sheet, and uh, those are the information of that uh, product. And also we can see more information on their company web page about that product. And here we explained, uh, we can explain by showing that image to the customer. And also uh, the company, uh, they have a YouTube channel. Uh, that YouTube channel video are explaining about their product, how to use and how to make their product. Here is the cancer sheet. So this is a short video for explaining how to use the cancer sheet for hair accessory. And uh, this is announced. Uh, uh, we can use that uh, video to the uh, cust customer for the explanation. And also, uh, I make uh, some user verification. So visiting to the retail store, and this is the sales club of the collaborative company. They use my application at the store and explain about the product to the customer. Now uh, the customer see uh, the product information on the iPad, and uh, now they are asking how to use that product. So uh, the sales club are explaining how to make uh, the foolish gift bag. And, and also, they are explain at the same time, they are explaining about the accessory or uh, to make that fresh key back. So that customer understand and satisfy on this safe client explanation. So thank you for watching uh, my product demonstration. And this is the end of my uh, presentation. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.